We have just landed in Singapore for just the next 24 hours. The 24 hours ahead of us is going to be packed with lots of things to do and see if you are here on a stopover. Before we get the metro out of the airport, we've got to check out this very iconic spot, the tallest indoor waterfall in the world. Whoa! Look at that. Feels like we're in some sort of theme park world. It's like Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. There's like the music going on. Incredible. Wow, was that? We'll show you more of this airport when we're back in here in about 21 hours time, but we're going to go into the city now because it is getting darker. So we are just walking to our accommodation now. We are staying somewhere very special, very unique. So we are excited to show you. So this one is your flight number one. Oh, cool. So we just stuck here. So this is where we're staying tonight. This is Galaxy Pods at Chinatown. Look how cool this is. Hey. Welcome to our pod. This is our double pod capsule, and this is where we're gonna be sleeping for the night. So this is basically like a ho hostel, but you've got our, your own space, completely your own space for me and Amelia. We've even got a TV here. What have we got over here, Amelia? So there's like loads of cool feet. We've got like a sleep mode. Oh, that's a bit dark. Face blue. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wait. So this is why it's a spaceship. <gasps> space mode. <laughs> So we're about to head to see something very special, but we're on a bit of a time limit, so we're going to grab something really quick to eat and get on our way. The great thing about Singapore is there's so many cuisines, so you're going to get loads of food, loads of different types of food. I'll go chicken tikka, just one though. Here we go. On the metro in Singapore, you can actually pay using your visa card, so you don't even have to like buy a special pass or buy a ticket, you can actually just pay using your usual debit card. Just arrived in the center of the city and we're about to see one of the most famous landmarks maybe in the world i'm so happy to be here we do love singapore there it is marina bay sands it looks incredible after going to shanghai and taipei it looks kind of short i just remember shanghai the shanghai tower just being so tall and now that just looks a little bit smaller but i mean still there's a ship on top of three buildings, pretty mental. This is why we rushed here. There's actually a light show at night in Singapore and we're about to watch it in front of Marina Bay Sands. Look at this. So unfortunately, we didn't have time to get over to the other side where basically the big water fountain goes off and it's all colorful. We saw it from a distance, but if you get close, it's probably the best view. Guys, I am absolutely shattered from today and all the traveling we're doing. So we're gonna head back to the Galaxy Pods, have a good night's sleep in the spaceship, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for the last maybe eight to 10 hours in the city. Good morning from Singapore. We've had a pretty good sleep and we're up early and we're about to explore this city today before we got to catch our flight. We're going to start off the day obviously getting some breakfast. For breakfast we've come to People's Park which is like a hawker centre which is basically just loads of food stores and places to eat so let's go see what they have. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, this looks amazing. This is a duck noodle set. It's a Chinese dish, but because of all these different cuisines and different people you have in uh, Singapore, you get all this variety of food. Good. Really good, yeah. So whilst Joel's having his duck noodles, I'm going to go see if I can find some dumplings because I'm really fancying some at the moment. Um, smaller. Small. Come on. Small. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to jump on the MRT and head to somewhere very special. So we have just arrived in one of the best places in Singapore and that is Gardens by the Bay. We're going to show you around this little area. It is right next to the big hotel that we saw last night, which is just up here. Right over there, just in front of us, is the Singapore Flyer. It kind of is just a big Ferris wheel, like the London Eye. I think it's quite expensive to go up, so we're not going to do that today. <laughs> So up here we have the super trees and these are man-made trees, huge man-made trees in Singapore. Look at them, look how massive they are. 
I feel so tiny next to them. It's really cool. It's just like a proper jungle here. But this is what Singapore was like before they made it a massive city. If you've got longer here than us, then you can actually watch a light show here like Marina Bay Sands. It's on every night. At, I'll put the time down below. So to skip the queue, we just bought tickets to the Flower Dome and the Sky Forest, and we're going to go in right now. It cost £30 each for entry, but you know, you're only in Singapore once, so let's go try it out. It's a bit more on the expensive side, but it's something that you have to do here when you come to Singapore. Is it just that? Okay. Thank you. Here we go. And also another great thing about booking online is that you can just scan it on your phone and it's so much easier. So this is the cloud forest. They have literally built an indoor rainforest right in the middle of Singapore. And this is another one of the world's tallest indoor waterfalls. Coming in here at midday is so good as well because it's so nice and AC'd and refreshing, like loads of water coming on you. It's seriously hot in Singapore right now. It's actually so cool here. You can come up inside the middle of the mountain, so like behind the waterfall. All the plants here are basically from tropical mountains, from about 1,000 meters to 3,000 meters. These are the kind of plants you'd find. We are now at the top of this indoor waterfall. Look how high it is. I don't even want to look down. It's giving me a bit of vertigo. I feel a bit of spray. It's quite refreshing. <laughs> Whoa, I had no idea this was here. This is like Team Labs in Tokyo. This is so cool. Whoa, you're shining. It's luminescent. I'm like luminous. Look at your shorts. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at my socks. <laughs> That was such a cool experience and so unique to Singapore. And there's also the flower dome included in our ticket price, but we actually are on a bit of a schedule. We've got to go and try and get back to the airport. We're walking back along the bridge to Marina Bay Sands Hotel, and we're going to try and go in just so you can kind of see the inside of it. It's got like over 2000 rooms in it. And if you haven't seen the top, it's actually got a big infinity pool and it's got incredible views all over the city. But to stay in this hotel is pretty expensive. I think you can go up there and get a good view of the city, but you can't actually use the pool. That's just for hotel members only. Whoa, it's such a big space in here. Like there is so much space. We are back in Chinatown to go to one last spot before we grab our stuff from where we're staying. And then we are going back to the airport to show you around the airport because the airport here in Singapore is incredible. So this behind me is one of the largest Buddhist temples in all of Singapore. And this is the Tooth Relic Temple. It actually houses the Tooth of Buddha. I think it's the left canine, which is pretty crazy. And it's basically built on this giant stupa inside. You can actually go inside this temple and it's free to enter, but you do have to cover up a bit. So we're not quite dressed right today. Are you ready to go? I'm tired. Yeah, it's been a long day. Let's go to the airport. And we are back in Singapore airport, probably like 19 hours later, because we wanted some time to spend in this airport because it is probably the best in the world. We've just arrived in Terminal 1 and we want to see if we can do an early check-in because it's an option here in Singapore, but because we're in Terminal 4, that's where we're taking off from, we're not sure if we're going to be able to, but let's go see. So we can, we can actually check in and send our bags off so we don't have to carry them around whilst we're going to do some cool activities in the airport. There we are, got our boarding passes. Just yours. Oh, just mine. Oh, there we go. Easy. After dropping our bags, we are heading right up to the top floor to try one of the crazy things you can do in the airport here. So we have tickets to the bouncing net here in Changi Airport. I'm so excited for this. I've never done one of these and the fact that you can do it in an airport is just yeah. mind-blowing to me. Just on your stopover to the canopy park we go. Ooh. Amelia, there's ducks in this airport. There's a literal duck pond up on like the fifth floor, sixth floor. It's like a zoo here. Here we are on the bouncing net. Whoa! Woo -hoo. <laughs> This bouncing net is honestly so much fun. Like everything is just super bouncy, but you can't even bounce, I don't know, straight. It's just like chaotic bouncing. Honestly, I'm so hot now. We've just found these slides which we can go down. How cool is this? This is the coolest airport ever. Like there is so much to do. It's quite expensive, but there is so much to do here. So our flight takes off in less than three hours now. So we've actually got to go all the way over to Terminal 4 
which is a bit further than the other terminals and yeah get ready for our flight get some food before we finish these 24 hours just arrived in terminal 4 and this is the newest terminal in singapore airport so this is terminal 4 like when we checked in early it's all automatics you're not going to be in a long queue you're just going to do it yourself and it scans you and your, your face and the passport and it's just super quick let's go through as we've already dropped our bags it's going to be quite a quick process i think let's get some food Look how good this is. It looks so good. And it wasn't even that expensive for like an airport meal. It's so affordable. Good. It was about £6. Six pounds. But we'll put it down below. I'm so Amazing. excited. Dig in. How good so is it? So good. Mm. So here they have a replica of all the streets of Singapore. It looks so cool. The Terminal 4 is underrated. Really cool. I didn't even know they had a terminal for it, I'll be no, honest. I think it's brand new, but like also it's just really chilled in here, really chill vibes. I think it's because no transits are here. So if you're self-transferring, you might come to this airport. Oh, the time is up and we have spent 24 hours in Singapore. Definitely recommend doing the self-transfer because it means A, you get to see a new city and B, you save a bit of money on flights, not using the same airline and just getting cheaper flights each way. I hope you enjoyed the video in Singapore and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.